Today, we are going to be making a brand pattern. Brand patterns are actually very easy to make using Adobe Illustrator, and the hardest part about making a brand pattern is just balancing it out and creating the actual elements to go in the brand pattern itself. Hello, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kinsey. I am the brand and web designer behind Kinsey Green Design, and if you're not new, welcome back. So for today's pattern, I am actually going to use my little plant here as inspiration for the pattern. And there's a couple of ways to actually create your elements for your brand pattern. One option is to actually take out a notebook and sketch out your elements and then pull that into Illustrator and trace over it using the pen tool or use the image trace feature to really retain that organic, rough, hand-drawn look and feel. It really all depends on what you want to go for with this pattern. For today's brand pattern idea, I actually want to have a really clean look. So I'm just going to trace over the image of my plant with the pen tool. Once I had my leaf outline, I created a few more elements to go in the brand pattern and started playing around with fonts for the little text I wanted to incorporate that said plant life. Now, Every time I do a video like this, I say, okay, this is not going to take that long. It's not going to take me a long time to do this at all. And then I sit here and spend like almost an hour playing around with the different elements, balancing them out and trying to get it to look the way I want it to look. I honestly hated the first actual pattern I created. So I went back, changed the font, changed the colors and tried a different approach. Now, if you're brand new to pattern design or have never tried to create a pattern in Adobe Illustrator, I'm actually selecting all of these elements and then going to object pattern make from the top. And that is actually how I bring up this little seamless repeating pattern box here and can change all of the layouts and the different elements. I spent a really, really long time just <laughs> rearranging everything. I honestly spent way too long on this. You can adjust the layout of your elements and how everything appears on screen using the little box that pops up when you go into the pattern editing mode. And once you have everything positioned the way you like it, you can then name your pattern and hit save so it will appear in the swatches panel. I finally ended up with something pretty simple and cute and I just made a little kind of board layout here to show how it works with the other colors and the actual imagery of a plant in there. And there is the final end result. All right, that is it for today's brand pattern tutorial. I also have a few more videos about brand patterns on my channel, as well as a video on how to properly export a brand pattern for it to be seamless. So I'm gonna link those at the end of this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.